everything is to understand your routing on ASA. So we would not cover every topic of routing today. Uh, let's let's cover till static and default routing today. So let's see how to enable no static and dynamic routing. Sorry, static and default routing. So going to that. So right now let's consider. I mean, uh, if ASA, okay. So for example, if R1 needs to reach, if R1 needs to reach this internet resources, so I am considering R2 as my ISP. I'm considering R2 as my ISP and these are the internet resources that my corp users wants to reach. Let us say this network are my corp LAN users. So they want to reach this, you know, uh, internet resources, right? So let's say if I want to allow it, uh, how it is possible, right? So let us say I want to send HTTP traffic or HTTPS traffic right from this source to this destination which the traffic has to go from it all the way to outside so can they be allowed the answer is yes i mean basically if r1 knows regarding the internet route that will be allowed so generally to allow internet route from your lan network or lan edge devices what do you do you normally configure a default route to reach internet right and from the asa also, because when the ASA has to reach this internet resources, he, he also must have a default route because towards internet resources, you normally configure a default route via your ISP, right? And also the ASA should know about this 10 dot series network, which is lying behind this edge router. So ASA should have something called as a static route, a static route to reach those 10 dot series subnets. So what I want right now is this. I want static route to be configured on the ASA in this direction. And there will be a default route configured from the ASA, which is towards the ISP. So this side I'm going with default route and all the other sides I'm going with static routes. All right. And on all the edge routers, I'll be configuring a default route so that all the networks are reachable okay as well as for pinging purpose i'll configure a default route on the isp as well but generally isps will never configure a default route back to the you know corporate networks the reason is if you do nat here okay then the source of the traffic will be always natted through the firewall when the traffic reaches to the destination so since i'm not doing nat and that in that case translation of ips will not be done so basically I have to you know, allow routing from the outside world to reach the specific networks from where the packet was originated. All right, so keeping that in a point here so we don't miss. So what we are doing is this for static and so we're going to configure on ASA static routes to reach inside dmc3 and dmc4 networks configure <clears throat> default route on asa to reach the outside internet resources configure default route on all the edge routers, edge routers, including R2, which is basically the outside router. Since NAT is not configured yet on the ASA. All right, is this point clear why I'm configuring, you know, uh, default route on R2? Outside, I mean the outside ISP router here, which is R2, it doesn't have any clue regarding you know 10.4 or 192 networks or 10.11 networks or 10.1 networks, right? There's no clue regarding routing. That is the reason he would need a default route. But if I do a NAT here, if I configure NAT here, and I NAT let us say DMZ resources when they go outside, I NAT inside resources when they go outside, I NAT this DMZ to go outside I do a NAT. In that case, you know my 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 source IP address will be generally the public IP. 
right, generate the public IP, right? So this public IP is known to R2. So he should not, you know, require to know those specific routes using static route or default route if I do NAT. But if I'm not doing NAT, that means in that case, I'm not doing translation of IP addresses and I must configure a default route. The first point, configure on, on ASA static routes to reach inside AMG3 and AMG4 networks. On routers, how do you normally configure static route? On routers, you say IP route, then you give destination network. You add the destination network, right? And then you give the subnet mask, and then you give the next stop IP. Next stop. That is the way you normally configure static routing on routers. This is on routers or any iOS device. Right. On ASA, you normally configure the keyword that starts with the keyword called as route. You don't have the keyword called as IP route. Okay. As I've told you in the beginning itself that most of the commands that starts with the keyword IP, it's actually omitted. Right. So route, then followed by the, the interface name if. Name if. Then followed by what? the destination network address to connect, then followed by the subnet mask, then followed by next stop IP. Okay, that is the generic syntax. So if I want to connect, let us say, if I go to ASA, and if I want to, you know, attach this 10, 1, 10, 10, 10, 20 networks, I, I have to say like that, route inside 10, 1, 1, 0, space 255, 255, 255, 0, and the next stop is 10, 11, 11 dot one. Likewise, route inside 10, 10, 10, zero, the mask 10, 11, 11 dot one. And similarly, route inside 10 dot 20 dot 20 dot zero, the mask followed by 10, 11, 11 dot one. So basically I'm using the static route statement referencing my exit interface name if through which I will attach this networks that is behind my inside interface. Okay, so I've added this 10, 1, 10, 10, 10, 20 over here. So likewise to add the DMZ3 and DMZ4 networks, what I will do is this. So let's do it on the notepad and then I'll copy, copy paste it on the router on, on the ASA. So on the ASA, if I look for DMZ, so it is route. This should be, you know, DMZ say, say three. <clears throat> and by the way, this is not case sensitive, so no need to worry. If the name if you have given as uppercase DMZ three, and while writing the routing statement, it is like lowercase DMZ three, no problems. And then you reach the loopback of this, which is ten dot three, so ten dot three three zero, which is via one ninety two one sixty eight. 3.3 and likewise route DMZ4 which is 10.440 which is via 192.168.4.4. So what I do is I configure all the static routes first on the ASA. I just copied the commands. I go to the ASA and paste it here. There you go. So now if you look, show route, it will show you all the routing entries, including connected, local, and static. If you want to filter, that is show route static. Okay, show route static will show you only the static entries. And you can see uh, the default stuff. I mean, you can know how to reach the inside network. So 10, 1, 10, 10, 10, 20, they're part of inside. And this is part of your DMZs. And by default, this is your AD value and the metric value, which is same with Cisco iOS. All right, so now if you look into the static routing, I mean, you have done it on the ASA. So from the ASA, you have done it, the static routing. Now what I'll do is I will go to R4, R1, R3, and you know, all the inside and the DMZ routers, configure default routes. So IP route, 0, 0, 0, 0. From R1, this is 10, 11, 11 dot 10. It is from inside. From R3, a default route which is 
any IP, any mask. We have 192.168.3.10. Then with DMZ3, from DMZ4, this will be, we have 192.168.4.10. Once I'm done with this, just for verification, show IP route static, you can see that there is a default route placed here. And this default route is naturally to reach, you know, all the internet networks. So my target is, you know, these users can reach internet resources using HTTP and HTTPS. All right. And R2 should have a default route to reach back to us, as I've told you, and explained to you why it is so, because we're not doing that. So from the ISP, I'm actually having a default route via the company's firewall to reach my internal networks and if you see show ip route static you have this default route to reach back to us and what last we need is on the firewall you must have a default route which goes points towards the isp to reach all the outside internet resources so go to the asa and to configure default route you do it in that way so you have to configure this is your static route configure default route the command is route now this is through your outside interface. So you give like that route outside. And then you know you can give like that 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000 and the next up IP will be your ISP IP, which is 192.1.20.2. You know, this is one choice, or you can have another choice like that, which is route outside zero space zero. So you can actually squeeze uh, all zeros to a single you know, decimal number. That means any IP, any mask, which is via via 192.1.20.2, can also do that. So just as an example, I copy this default route statement for the ASA, and I paste it over here. Done. And if I see show route static, I can see that there is a static default route, which populates like that. All right. So as for the topology requirements, I've configured the required stuff. And last thing is what I cannot verify using pings. Because if I try to ping from R4 to R2 or R3 to R2, this will never happen because I'm going from high security to low security and the reply traffic won't come back because it is ICMP. So to test the connectivity from DMZs inside to outside internet resources, I can test it using HTTP, HTTPS and Telnet because they are TCP based and for which the connection table would be getting created for me. All right. So tomorrow we'll look into the ACL part and how to write ACLs and all those stuff. In that case, we'll see. But now to test from inside or DMZ to outside, we have done the routing stuff. So if I go to R1 and if I want to test with pings, pings will never happen. I think you guys are pretty much uh, okay with this right now. Why pings will not happen. And if I go to you know R2, I've can enable R2 to work like an HTTP HTTPS server. So the command is IP HTTP server. And I can say IP HTTP secure server. So when you say <clears throat> IP HTTP server and IP HTTPS to your router, so basically you are enabling uh, port number 80 and port number 443 on the router iOS. So now what we do is from inside, from inside, if I want to test the connectivity, so I say like that, telnet, look, telnet, I want to reach, let us say, you know, 199.1.1.1 right but i want to reach on port number 80 so basically i am sending the traffic not using port number 23 but using port number 80. once i do that when you see the keyword is open that means the http http session is getting allowed right so your scene packet from inside to 199 to the internet and the scene i can act was all happening and and this was happening because it is http traffic based on tcp and the ASA would have made a connection table by now. So yeah, you can see that. So the return traffic from 199.111 on port number 80 to inside, it is there. All right. So likewise, if you want to test using HTTPS, it is Telnet to let us say 200.111, sorry, Telnet 200.111 on port number 443. You can do that, it is open. And you can go to ASA and see the connection table, show con. You can see that connection table for 443 from 200.111 is getting getting allowed for the inside network. All right, so HTTP HTTPS is working from inside to outside, and also the same thing will happen from R4 to R3 
sorry, R4 to R2 and R4, R3 to R2. So basically DMZ to outside, this thing will happen. So if I want to test it, I mean, let me go to inside router and close this session. And what I do is I go to, let us say, R3. From here, I try to telnet or try to access telnet, let us say, telnet to 199.111 on port number 80, but I want to use the source interface of my loopback zero. So basically I'm sending the HTTP traffic to my outside internet people from DMZ, which is from 10.333. This is the way you normally do that. Right, and you can see the session is open. And if you go to the ASA, you can see that the DMZ people now can go to internet. So if you see show con, the DMZ people can reach to internet and there is the traffic which is sent to the loopback of DMC. And the same thing will happen for R4 as well. So if you look last thing for R4, try to tell net, which is say 200.111 on port number 443 using source interface of loopback zero. The same thing is getting allowed. Finally on the ASA, show con, previous entry gets removed, the old, the new entry gets created. And here it is. But no traffic will be allowed to come in from outside to DMZ or outside to inside because we don't have any explicit ACL rules yet. By default, the connection table is not there for the initiate traffic from the outside. And also your security policies, I mean, ACL rules are not yet created. 